So we've taken the Shark Tank configuration a bit, which we've said we'd like to have a bit more on the show. We have a recurring and returning guest with you, Niklas, today. You were with us two months ago and uh, you have a slightly different topic today, which you will be pitching to us. The scene is yours. Thank you very much for having you here again. Warm welcome to everybody. I want to talk to you um, about the topic how to recycle water in the food industry. The food industry is quite water intensive and we have a solution to provide water with drinking water quality and to save therefore the water intake and reduce the wastewater amount. There are also other benefits like saving the cost of it, replacing all technology which is uh, on site. but. What is right now more key to it is ensure site security. This is a, a big issue, especially in Germany and in the northern parts. We have already erected a different bigger plants for that application. And we are in the dairy sector. We have cow water treatment, it's called as a vapor condensate from the evaporation of milk products. Due to the contamination of the water, it tends to spoil quite fast and it's not really storable. So we have a multiple stage process, which is also quite innovative because in uh, Former times, the state-of-the-art system was just a reverse osmosis step to treat this kind of water. But the downside is you really have bad effluent water quality in terms of the organic load. And uh, the water cannot be stored for a longer time. With our technology, we're using biological pretreatment and then different kinds of membrane technology to ensure that the water at the effluent is purified and also is in, in the right track in terms of the drinking water obedience. As I said, we implemented already several plants for that, also in a, in a big dairy in Western Germany, where we treat 150 cubic meters per hour of this kind of water it can be completely utilized in, in the production. So that's quite a good benefit because the end customer does not have to separate which kind of quality it's need, we have the solution for that. You mentioned proprietary. How specific is your technology? I would say it is the total treatment train. There is multiple stage biological treatment and also the membrane technology. First, we make sure that the organic load is biologically degraded. And then the membrane application adjusts for policy barrier in that way. And therefore, there is no much cleaning needed anymore. We replace it with a multiple stage treatment to use the benefits of the technology and make sure that the water quality is in, in best condition. But I think we are talking here not about technology, we are talking about a process, right? Uh, yeah. You are having several technologies combined to a process and that is your approach you're bringing to market. That's right. What are these steps? You're always saying multiple, multiple steps, but what are these kind of steps? In the first place, we're using moving bed bioreactors, for example, but this can be also some other systems. This really depends on, on the contamination of, of the water. It is, as always, in the industrial uh, wastewater is not always the same. You really have to look how high are the uh, contamination of the organics and therefore you, you choose the biological stage and also the membrane stage afterwards, which is normally like an ultrafiltration reverse osmosis system and then could be additional some disinfection stage afterwards. So we are talking about an MBBR, UF, RO, disinfection. In some cases. In some cases, but that is the process. That's the process. It's your solution. What is the unique point? The unique point is really how to operate that proper in that conditions because cow water or vapor condensate is quite low in contamination. So you really put a lot of stress to the bacteria, to the biomass. And uh, it's, you can say, really harsh conditions. We're building an atmosphere around that the organisms can work in their best conditions and are yeah, really doing the job. And uh, this was quite a challenge. We made that work. You mentioned several references. How many do you have? We have three now. And do you see an acceleration in that market? Of course, yeah. Especially as there is some new research for also other kinds of condensate treatment. So we have for skim milk, we also now putting into place uh, whey condensate. We are also will introduce permeate, which is also a quite big stream in some dairies. We have a lot of research going on. We're building up more competence, but already proved that we have that done with skim milk, for example. Is there one single action you want the people watching this to do? You have 30 seconds, the camera is here tell them. If you're a person from, from the food industry, I would be real welcome if you contact us and want to make sure that you will save drinking water and uh, wastewater. If you like to, we come visit you at your place, have a look to your side streams and maybe also your main wastewater. Make a validation if this is a feasible case for you 
that you can save on the one side money and on the other hand reduce the impact to the environment. Thank you very much, Niklas. It was great to have you back. See you soon. Thank you.